Hey, hi friends, welcome to Victorious and Technology Today we are going to discuss about what is the fastest way to convert an enum value to string. Okay, so in our day-to-day -day life, we usually use many uh, enum types. Okay, so so why we actually use the enum types is because when we have some of the default values, and we we, we don't want to. Uh, we do, we just want to use those values then at that time we can use those enum values so let's say for an example gender okay so gender can be male or female okay so for this one we can use the gender agent enum type and uh, uh, let's say some of the uh, seasons like summer season winter season spring season rainy season so all these things are fixed okay which we can't change okay so for this season also we can use an enum type and there is one more example I can give uh, like like month okay so we have 12 months like January to December okay and for that also I can use an enum like January February so January will be your 0 and February will be your 1 or January can be your 1 and February can be your 2 and December can be your 12 and similarly way there is another example I can give is for the days okay like from Sunday to Monday okay Sunday can be 0 Monday can be 1 all those things I can give and similarly way I can uh, design an enum value okay now the next thing is how to uh, convert an enum to a string okay so so we can basically co convert it but what is the fastest way okay in 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 day to day life we usually convert those enum values to string many times but we don't know what is the fastest way to do that so I am going to show you with an example that how we can use and convert it convert that enum to string with the fastest way so the first thing is uh, we have something called as two string method okay we can use that two string method and we can convert that enum value to two string okay there is one more thing called as name of okay so by using the name of also we can convert that string we, we can convert that enum to string okay and uh, between both of these the dot to string and the name of method okay the fastest way is the name of uh, because the name of evaluates our string at compile time which is faster than any other evaluation method like our to string so in case of the to string method it, it, it will take that value but it will convert at the runtime but in case of the name of uh, name of method it will compile at the runtime only okay so so now let me show you with an example okay so I am going to take one enum okay I am going to take here seasons okay and let me use spring and let me use winter okay and uh, let me use another season it's rainy season okay uh, now let me create two methods okay one is for that two string method sorry I used the property okay let me use that method now where I will just return uh, a string to string function and here I will just return seasons uh, dot okay anything now you can see here I got all those uh, enums enum values like rainy uh, value is 2 spring is 0 okay let it be anything uh, spring okay dot and I'm going to use two string okay and after that I'm going to take another method which is the same uh, return type is same uh, uh, string and I'm going to use here uh, name of function and here also I'm going to return uh, okay so in place of that two string we are going to use this name of uh, uh, 
one and here I am going to use that same seasons. Uh, let me use the same spring value and here we are just going to call these two functions ok and let me let me create the class of it I'm going to take two variables so so one is for the one is for the uh, I mean for this string function another one is for this name function so string uh, var function and I'm going to call that method program dot to string function and let me use another function where uh, name of uh, variable function and here I'm going to take that same object and my function name is name of function okay okay so now we, we wrote the uh, we wrote the almost same code okay now the thing is how to calculate and determine which one is the fastest fastest one okay we I mean we eventually uh, assume that uh, the two string is uh, it, it's actually doing at the runtime and this one is the name of function is doing at the compile time but we need to file uh, we need to calculate like based on the some some calculation right how we can uh, find out the which one is uh, taking less time and which one is taking more time and Based on that, we can decide which one is the fastest way. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do? So whenever these two functions run, these two string function and name of function, uh, I'm going to uh, calculate the run. I mean, the running time of those functions. Okay, so for that, I'm going to take uh, this stopwatch. Okay, so there are some other methods are also there by which we can calculate, but 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 just for the sake of time I am going to use uh, this stopwatch and is sorry stopwatch dot uh, start method so I am going to start this method and after this function this two string function got completed I am going to uh, stop this uh, stopwatch so there is a method called a stop okay and after that let me use a console dot write line where we can uh, find out the actual running time of the uh, our our the two string function okay uh, two string function time okay so plus now what is our stopwatch dot I can use elapsed okay and similarly uh, similarly I need to use another stopwatch because we I mean definitely we can use the same stopwatch but I don't want to use it and I am going to use a different one and here I created a new object of the stopwatch so let me use stopwatch one dot start method okay so the second stopwatch i'm going to start here and after the name of function uh, it, it got executed then i'm going to uh, use this stopwatch one dot uh, stop method okay let me use here the same console uh, console code but I'll, I'll change the stopwatch uh, one stop one stopwatch one object and for the two in, in place of two string uh, I, I'm going to replace it with uh, name of function time okay and let me use here 
my stopwatch one okay now the whole look whole code looks good okay now you can see here i have created the seasons enum okay i have used a method called as the two string method so so where uh, we are going to take the enum value and we are going to um, add this dot two string method which will convert our enum value to the string okay and this is one method and apart from that we use this name of uh, method where we are going to do the same thing and we are going to pass this season dot spring okay now in case of the main method we just created the uh, object of the program class and we use the stopwatch okay where we start the stopwatch and we after that we just call the two string function and at the end in the console right line you can see here we are going to just calculate what is the time uh, that two string method is going to take okay and and here you can see uh, it it will uh, this elapsed uh, the stopwatch dot elapsed it it is going to return the whole uh, like hour minute second and the the millisecond time okay and similarly we created another stopwatch one for the name of function and here i have just started the method and this one is my stopping of the method and uh similarly i have used the same elapsed method okay now let me add here uh, the last thing console dot uh, read okay i have not added any kind of breakpoint okay but if we, if you want we can add it uh in the meantime let me just quickly run the application and we'll we'll see okay which method is taking what time Okay, the program started building. Uh, I think it is it is going to come up that that window in few seconds. Okay, now we got the output. Okay, the two string function time is uh, our minute second. Everything is zero zero zero. But but you can see here uh, in case of the uh, in case of the uh millisecond you can see here it took 0013261 okay but in case of the name of function you can see i mean let's directly jump to the millisecond because all the hour minute second everything is zero okay now you can see here uh, it, it just took 0003709 okay so which means the name of function took very less time as compared to the two string function and the reason uh the name of function it took very less time because it evaluates that that our uh, our our that enum value at the compile time only and it's because of that it is uh, way very much faster as compared to the dot two string because the two string is evaluating at the run time i mean for the two string it is taking the value and after that it is applying the two string function but in case of our name of method it is happening at the compile time so 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 in, in case of the name of method it is taking that value and in in, in the same compile time only it is uh, applying that name of method and it's because of that reason it is taking very less time so hence we prove that the name of uh, function is taking very less time as compared to the two string so so this is just i gave you one of the example okay but you can you can uh, use uh, this name of in in other scenarios also i i just gave you one example with the enum okay but you can use this name of in other scenarios also so so this is all about our uh, today's video stay tuned for our next video thank you